welcome to the course as discussed in the introduction video we'll be using replet.com replet.com is a coding platform and it is a cloud based ide there are n number of uh, best and good features with using this cloud platform here uh, there would be no setup for us uh, there would be a zero setup you can straight away start and uh, develop and uh, the second important benefit is you can write code in any of the device or any of the browser you can op open in any browser any of the device you it would be the same you can code anywhere and also you can have a collaboration code a live chat live code with your peer programmers you can also ask help with this creating the replet and you can ask help for, for from someone else so let's get started by the end of this video we'll be doing one more lesson with all the setup needed for the windows so in this session if you need to drive into this replet.com and uh, need to sign up at the right top i'm clicking the sign up button you can sign up with the google or github or facebook accounts or you can create your own replet account once you create you need to go and log in back into the replet.com so once you log in the gui would be like this the top right corner you are going to create your new replet it means your first application so here there would be n number of languages it would be providing for us in a drop down so you can pick the node js because we are now developing the discord bot by using node js so now i am giving a discord bot replet so just i am giving a name for this replet by default all these replications or replets would be in public by default it means don't share or don't write any of your sensitive information here like credit card details or passwords also you have the second tab of importing from github you can uh, use any of their uh, someone's github link and you can access that link and you can uh, work in the replet as well so for now we'll be using in uh, creating a new replet so i'm i have named this as a discord bot replet and now i'm creating this I have clicked the create replet so once you create the replet you will be getting the interface like this so you here there would be three parts so the first part in the left side is like a file explorer where all the files which are needed for our application would go here and the in the middle part is a code editor it's like same as the visual studio sublime text atom which we use in our day to day life so it would be the same as a middle part that is a code editor and at the right navigation this here will be having two tabs number one is for the console and the second is a shell here you can use console and shell for to run our commands and to see the outputs also there are n number of options at the left side so i will be go through them whenever it is necessary fine so uh, we need to develop a discord bot for that we need to have node js installed as we have selected the node js application node would be installed by default let's check whether node is installed or not how to check whether node is installed or not is we need to keep node hyphen v means i am trying to check the version of the node now if i click enter you'll be getting the version of the node 1.221 so it means node was installed properly so to develop the discord bot we need to have the node version greater than 12 yes we have the node version greater than 12 along with the node we'll be getting one more thing like npm which is known as node package manager this npm means node package manager we use this node pack node package manager to install all the dependencies for our application so let's check whether it is uh, available or not by default if we have node the npm also will be available i am uh, just showing the npm is available with checking its version so now we have npm as well let's install i mean let's init the package.json file now what does this command do npm init hyphen y this command will help us to create the package.json file here if you observe here only we have a index.js file so now we are doing npm init.y this is to create the package.json file once i run this package. this command the package.json file would be created here why we need this package.json file is in order to maintain all the dependencies and the scripts for the application we'll be using this package.json file this is a core file of, of entire application so let's do that so it in we could able to create it package.json file so once we have created that 
we can add a number of uh, dependencies to this. So let's add one of the dependency. We'll be using, uh, we need to drive to discord.js.org, this website. So this is the library, discord.js. This is the library we are going to use to develop the Discord bot. So for that, we need to install this dependency, this library into our application. So for that reason, I'm going to install npm i, or I can use n is a shortcut, or if you want, you can write entirely npm install. I'm trying to install discord.js, the library which I have shown here. So this is what we are doing here. So I'm trying to install this library. So once I click npm install discord.js, it would be installed. This library would be installed in the dependencies. In the package.json file, you can see there are no dependencies. But once after this discord.js was successfully installed, the dependency was added. So in this way, we need to add the dependencies into our project. We need to do npm install and the package name, whatever the package we want. So for now, we are using discord.js to develop the discord bot. In this discord.js documentation, if you go, there would be a number of classes, methods, and properties. We use these things to access the bot. So we'll tell you about this in the next lessons. So once you have created and installed the discord bot, so the next thing uh, I will show you how to access the index.js file. I mean, in the index.js file, I'm writing a line of code like console. So just a uh, setup is ready. So I wrote setup is ready. So how to run this index.js file. So I'm clearing the console. Clear is the command we need to clear the shell. So once I clear that, if I want to run this index.js, node space index.js, we need to give node space index.js. So once if I click enter, yep, we could able to access and run this file. So Till now, we could able to create the replet and we could able to set up everything needed to code. So in the next sessions, we'll be looking of how to create the application, bot and server. So thanks.